Hi everyone, Mary here at Espresso Press Design. Welcome, happy season, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Today we're going to do something very different. But first I'm going to do a little show and tell that, that will be leading up to the project. And I'm going to show you a couple things I've made and a couple very nice things I got for Christmas. So, um, I guess first I'll do the last of my Christmas projects, which I have finally had time to sit down with my glitter glue and I've been making I don't know if you can see that shine or not probably not probably if I turn my lamp over here you might so anyway these are my last Christmas projects these are some that I made for gifts. That one's for my daughter. Because it looks like our cat. And this one was for my husband. Um, originally, I was going to take some family heirloom Christmas cards but I couldn't bring myself to cut them up. And that kind of doesn't make any sense because <laughs> this way you can enjoy them on the tree and in other words, they're sitting in a box. But I don't know, I just couldn't bring myself to cut them up. You know, some of those people are no longer with us and I don't know, I just couldn't do it. So, I got a new uh, corner chopper to make perfect corners for tags and labels. I got my button dies that were on my wish list like forever. And this is um, the paper that my husband wrapped everything in very nicely and that immediately went to my stash and so I made some buttons on played with my stuff on Christmas Day and let me get rid of this oh, let me just where can I put it Okay, I'll just dump it over here. So then I made some paper. I've been wanting to make paper for a long time. And I finally um, got around to doing it. But you know what? I am not going to do this again in the winter. It took forever. Some of them are still drying, but it's, I wanted to dye it, but it's, um, look at the flecks in there, hopefully you can see them, very pretty. I wanted to dye it, but once I saw I got gray, um, I didn't think it would come out as nice as I hoped and I didn't want to get beet root stain all over my laundry room so I just left it natural. So that leads me to our project and I hope I'm not taking too much of your time. Um, I used to be a watercolor artist. And people always say, why did you quit? Why did you quit? Well, a number of reasons, but um, 
I had a child. <laughs> I I was a watercolor. I was a painter, drawer, painting, drawing for 30 years. I sold my paintings. I entered shows, all that stuff. And then I had a child, and um, and that wasn't the only reason. But I um, I just wasn't progressing anymore, and it kind of got frustrating. These are uh, for a while. I went on to acrylics. Um. And it just got um, frustrating that I wasn't progressing. This is an illustration I did. Um, this is probably my masterpiece. So I don't know. I don't, hopefully you can see these. I don't know. But anyway. These are some Christmas cards I did. I used to also do pen and ink. And I drew people's houses. But, and this is just uh, some covers I did, another graphic design work. Um, this is a painting that went to my husband's cousin who recently died. But anyway, the point is, I've been lugging around sketchbooks since I was 16. We had a flood. I lost a lot of paintings. That's why I'm showing you. Well, that's easier, but a lot of paintings in that book I lost. Um, So, I don't know. I just gave it up. Maybe someday in my old age I'll go back to it. But that leads me to today's project. And I was looking around. I have tons of, in the vast territory that is my basement, I have tons of sketchbooks. <laughs> Uh, filled with all kinds of things. As I was looking around, I found these line of cuts, line of prints that someone gave me in high school. And um, I can't remember who it was, but these are over 40 years old. So that's my point. <laughs> I've had so much stuff just sitting around and it's time to um, lessen, lessen the um, clutter. And like I said, I've been lugging around sketchbooks since I was maybe not even, probably even 14. <laughs> I took, in addition to art school and high school, I took at least 10 years of classes, various classes. So I'm sure everyone has stuff like this lying around. These in particular are my daughters. And I have been walking across, walking past them every day. So I thought, well, you know what? Now's a good time to um, turn these into some ATC backgrounds. So that's what we're going to do today. And I found a great artist. I think her name is Ellen Vargas. And I, we are going to do a technique that she wrote about. I'm not going to cut them up. 
but you will need some kind of um, background. I'm going to explain what she did. Since mine are already painted, I'm just using this. This is stuff I found that was my daughter's. It's just on sketch paper. And I'm just going to use that. So you'll need some stamps. Um, hopefully some permanent ink if you are going to go over it with water and you'll need some collage water and you'll need either acrylic or watercolor I am going to use watercolor because I really didn't feel like messing around with acrylic so what you're going to do here's a few cutoffs you're going to choose a few stamps. Um, I used this one and this one. Today I think I'm going to use something different. I might still use this one. So what you're going to do is you're going to get your first stamp and she had one that was kind of a pattern and it had fine lines so that's why I chose that one. And what we're going to do is we're just going to make a background pattern and I'm using black, she used black and I think I'm going to use this one today instead of the other one. And you're just going to go randomly Cross your page make a pattern with your first stamp and as I'm looking at this, I probably want to turn it. As I go. And I really don't care. Perfect. Okay. I think that's good for that one. And then you're going to choose a second stamp. Think a moment what might go well with this. I think I'm going to choose this one again. And a second color. Um, I chose red and orange. Oh, wait a minute. The next set for her was painting over with a brayer. An acrylic. So I'm just going to add some a little more color with some hopefully not too wet watercolor. And I don't even have any water here to clean my brush. So 
so hopefully this dries quickly enough so that and I just made you know I just made another pattern actually I think I just did like little squares because I filled in I filled in the frame of that so I just went along and did another little pattern with, with some more paint but you do whatever you want. She pretty much had a range of colors and then she just brayered. Yeah, let me stick with that because that's dry brush. So we can move move on faster. Well, so this is totally different, but <laughs> another reason all my Christmas stuff is put away, and I just really wanted to do something different. rather than making another book or tag or something. I gave my daughter her book. I made her some pockets and a little bag to put her collage stuff in. Okay, I'm not going to cut these up, but you'll see at the end. So then, this is the second stamp, and the second color. I think I will choose orange again. It's a color I rarely, rarely use. Let's see how these patterns go together. And then she, um, she did her second pattern with different color. I also use some red, which I love red, and I rarely get to use it. So, I'll go down here randomly. If I had a bright green, I'd probably add that. But I don't. I kind of want to stay bright. Okay. Going to the purple. I'm just not. I love lilac. I'm just really not a purple person. So, I'm going to go with red. And you can do whatever you want for your background. 
we can bring in some gesso. But I plan on um, I plan on reducing all these random drawings and things. to either collage fodder or bases, backgrounds, <laughs> pages, junk, something, because it's just like I said, I've been walking. This has been sitting on top of the pile of my sketchbooks. And I have another whole box of um, little drawings and things she did when she was little. And they're also I couldn't find it or I would have got in there today because as I wanted to, um, okay, I think that looks good. Now on to the next step, which I'll explain. The next step is adding some collage and um, what happened was uh, I went to print some of my jelly print digitals and I don't have enough ink apparent, yellow apparently that my printer's not working. And that happened, uh, I ordered some, I knew I would be ordering some, and, um, and then the next time I printed it didn't work, so I think I don't have enough yellow. So I had to dig around <laughs> looking for collage material, because the next step is pasting. So, I got a bunch of stuff, some I made my own, this is the only one that, and it didn't print right, this is all supposed to be red, you can see the streaks, but I used it, in, I used some of it anyway, I got in my paper and started looking for papers that might work. So that's the next. This is probably too busy. Um, that might actually work. But I think I'm going to stick with... I, may I might have to take some of these dots but I think I'm going to stick with um, this smaller stuff. So let me just choose. I think I kind of like these two. I think that's too much. Maybe some of this one. And of course I couldn't I couldn't avoid doing some letters. Maybe I'll add a little of this. Okay. Let me get I think I want this first. 
Let me get a ruler here. This is my tear ruler. I may, but it works, usually works great. <laughs> Once you get it firmly down, it's made from an aluminum foil package. That will be kind of cool. And this is way out of my usual zone, that's for sure. Just using white and um, these bright colors. I think a touch of that here and there might not be too bad. Maybe a couple of squares. Seven. Since I'm not going to cut these, I think we'll be okay. So that reminds me, um, I was really surprised uh, that my printer ink is half the price of when I first bought my printer. So I have an echo tank and I used glue because um, I want to make sure these are really stuck when they go through the cutter. By the way, I got a guillotine, a small one. I still have to get a large one, but I'm very happy to not be using, not having to be using the paper trimmer so much. I've been practicing and it cuts um, very precise, which is self sharpening. I'm very happy about because they go through blades like crazy and I've wanted a guillotine for a long time it was just um, I don't know finding one that people that had a lot of good reviews. <laughs> so anyway, my ink for four bottles is only $55. And this is the first time I've actually had to buy ink for a year and eight months. And I have printed hundreds, if not thousands of pages. And I'm very happy with my echo tank. I 
said it many times, I don't really like the presentation paper. But if I want something a little nicer, I just print on cardstock. Bright white cardstock. And I find if you can get as a bright the brightest paper you can find. Um, the quality isn't like an Epson professional printer because it's Echo Tank is meant to be a workhorse color printer. So I've seen a lot of people comment that it doesn't live up to Epson quality. But on presentation paper, it really don't. I mean, for a home printer, it's pretty good. And I like the quality of laser printers, but I do not like the, uh, I don't like the paper. I don't like that glossy finish. I don't know if they have a mat, but I used to, um, just to save money, I used to send my print. I used to send my print jobs out. I'm kind of dying to use these dots. <laughs> I think I might. I think I might. Just tear off a little strip here, and I think what I'm going to do is make some circles. Might as well go with it. So I have little jagged squares. And then when she, um, after she collaged, she went in with a marker and she did marks and things like that. I don't have a thick black marker here at this table, so I'm not going to do that, but of course you can add whatever you want. go with five because when I got when I began cutting these apart I began to see that I didn't have enough um, collage but then I I just thought that's okay because, well, when she cut hers up, they were kind of finished ATC cards, but I plan on more just using these for backgrounds, so I can do more on top. And they'll also need backed, by the way, because this is too thin. One, two, three, four, five, six. I should do another strip of blue. Okay, there's seven of that. Uh, let me put another strip of blue somewhere. Three, 
three, seven. I'm trying to stick with odd numbers here. one of these off the page. So I hope everyone had a very nice Christmas. We had a blizzard and then it got extremely cold. But today is downright balmy. I think it's 18 degrees. But I'm very grateful that we didn't lose power like a lot of people did. That would have been, oh boy, that would have just capped off my year <laughs> with a bang. We took our little kitty in and um, he had been, he went for his, well, after the first phone call checkup. He was walking all week, and I thought for sure when he went in, she was going to say, he's good, and no, he got two more weeks of antibiotics, and um, he might have to get more incisions because apparently, according to her, there's not supposed to be a bump there, even though to me it just looked like it looked like if you were looking at your own knee. No, that's not exactly flat. According to her, it's supposed to be flat. So, I ordered this stuff called Ichthamol, which supposedly it's safe for cats. And they use it on horses and everything, and dogs, and um Supposedly, it's a drawing self, and uh, I, I honestly do not see why it is still building up fluid and why he just doesn't absorb it. So, that's pretty much it, I think. Maybe. I'm going to do five of these just because I want to make sure I have some collage everywhere when I cut it. I will flip through these so you can see for yourself. Where'd my stack go? Okay, there it is. 
but I think this is going to be a lot of fun and if my ink doesn't come maybe next week maybe next week we'll just be uh, doing some ATC ATC making here okay so ATC two and a half by three and a half I'm gonna chop this up but not while you're here so well that one's nice it has a circle that one has some that one has some that one has some that one has some this one barely has any so that one is definitely going to need some decorating that one has some and that one's nice so you can see these kind of are resembling what she did so I wanted to um, point that out and I will put a link to the blog article so you can see what she did as well and then you can try it for yourself okay we are at 42 oh my okay I hope you stick around for that long but just have a play this is my um, well this was supposed to be a day off but this was fun so it's like a day off I'll see you next time everyone and we'll do something Merry Christmas again Happy New Year and thank you for stopping by and thank you for your time have a great week bye